That's right, everybody. Keyword is welcome, because I want to give a big welcome to all of the new subscribers. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. Uh, like the London Marathon videos over the past couple days, I had no idea how much attention they would get. But sure enough, uh, I basically, I did a live stream on Facebook and then published my thoughts on the performances by the elite athletes at the London Marathon. And whoa, holy smokes, the channel is growing very quickly. So I just want to give a big welcome to all the new subscribers and to let you know that this is a daily running vlog YouTube channel. So you can expect every single morning and just uh, ask all of the long-term subscribers. I publish every day at 5 a.m. Mountain Time, all right? So you can kind of set your, your clock. Maybe you're in Europe. That's about lunchtime for you. Maybe you're in Asia. That is about, uh, about 5 p.m. approximately. And then, of course, across the U.S., it's usually in, or it is in the morning. So anyway, this is a daily vlog. We talk about running uh, we talk about running gear, we talk about uh, my family life, we talk about uh, my past running highlights, the highs and the lows, we talk about training ideas, how to run faster, of course, running shoes, as you can see by the studio. I basically am trying to share my story with all of you and share my passion, yes, for running and how much I love this sport. So welcome once again and okay, in addition, we do running shoe giveaways on this YouTube channel. Uh, and the next one, I'm going to announce it tomorrow. All right, so come back tomorrow. I just got to double check a couple dates and make sure it's going to work. And what do we do with these running shoe giveaways? Viewers like you send me running shoes to my P.O. box, which is down below, and then I collect them in my house. And what do we do with these running shoe giveaways? Well, because of your generosity. And in fact, you know what? I'm just going to put this clip in here right now. A couple days ago, this happened. Remember the boxes that arrived two days ago, I think? All right, guys, here we go. Oh, yes! This is awesome! Oh, Ryan Hall, right? The, uh, the half marathon and, uh, yeah, marathon. American record holder, Ryan Hall. He wrote a book called Run the Mile, You're In. Oh, so cool. Thank you, Joey. I've never received a book in the, from the, in the P.O. box. I love, by the way, Joey and everybody else, I love books. I okay, this looks like running shoes. Whoa. Nike! Oh, let's see. Ooh, ooh. All right, I'm not gonna show you yet. All right. Those are fireworks. In box number two, box number two. What are they? Oh, oh, nice. Epic React, size 11. Thank you to Earl in Chicago. This is amazing. All right, and I'm gonna wait for the other box. I'll show you what's in that one at the running shoe giveaway. That's right, that was the latest haul a couple days ago. Today though, oh. basically our first pair of shoes arrived from outside the country. Thank you, shout out to John in Australia. This is amazing. So obviously it's a Nike shoe. Well, unless it's something else inside. It says, on the it says inside the box here, hi Seth, best wishes from John in Tasmania. Oh, awesome, about 50K of walking only. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. He wrote that on the inside of the shoe box. That's amazing. All right, what's it gonna be? Oh, wow. Zoom fly fly knit. This, my, oh, this is awesome. Okay, I believe it's size nine and a half. Let's wait and see here. Yup, size nine and a half. Welcome to the shoe deal. Let me just put these down, hold on. And so today, today was a, a little bit of a t uh, crazy day. I was in, frankly, a little recovery mode from live streaming the London Marathon. And also I spent a good, I don't know, probably about an hour, not quite an hour, replying to your emails. I didn't get through all of them. If you've emailed me in the last two weeks, I apologize. I'm trying to dig through them, keep them coming, but just got to be patient there. I will say, I'm just going to say it right now. I'm, I'm much better at responding on Instagram. Keep your messages, you know, fairly short. Don't, you know, you can't write a book, but, and I will, I will reply on Instagram pretty quickly. Email is just, uh, it's, I don't know why, but it's always a little tougher for me to get to email. I think, I think because it's mixed in with all of the promotions and kind of junk email that we all get. I know you get it as well. So anyway, keep communicating there, but it was a little busy today. And what is going to be behind door number one? The New Balance Fresh Foam More. That is right, the New Balance Fresh Foam More. It's got a four millimeter drop, weighs 10.2 ounces, 
has a huge midsole, huge midsole, lots of EVA foam through that midsole. It's that patented fresh foam uh, that New Balance has, um, and it has a wide platform. So the landing area on the on the outsole, it's it's pretty big, it's large. So uh, you're not gonna feel, even though it's a taller stack height, you're not gonna feel too unstable. It's it's actually it's probably different uh, if you're familiar with as well. If you're familiar with the Zoomfly Flyknit that just arrived from Australia, this is this is definitely much more narrow through the uh, the platform landing uh, on the outsole. And even though the stack height is probably pretty comparable to this Zoomfly, and so that neutral platform will have a little bit of stability built in to help out with uh, overpronation, just a little bit. So I've read. Now I haven't tested it yet, but that's just based on what I've read. And some people have said, "Wow, New Bounce." Are you trying to uh, copy Hoka and specifically the Hoka Bondi? That is the, the shoe that has just this crazy huge midsole. And you're probably wondering why, Seth, would you want to go so maximal? So a shoe that has a lot of cushion, a lot of, a lot of midsole. I must say, I like a little bit of ground contact feel. And I'm guessing that the New Balance Fresh Foam More will not have that much ground contact feel. And it'll be really interesting to, co to compare it to the New Balance Beacon eventually once I'm out of this boot. Um, but the reason I'm intrigued by this shoe, frankly, is to help me stay healthy. Yeah. So I am trying to run a lot. I'm trying to put in high volume. I'm trying to run a marathon. I'm trying to deal with pavement and training on pavement in an urban environment. And therefore, because of my past hin injury history, and remember we've been talking a lot about my injuries the last couple days, I believe that I might need to ante up a little bit with respect to a little more midsole through my daily train for my daily trainers moving forward. So that's why I'm intrigued by it. Uh, hopefully in the next two to three weeks, I'll be able to get my hands on a pair and then hopefully get to take them out for a spin not long after that. So stay tuned. That is shoe number one that I will be hopefully purchasing sooner rather than later. All right, shoe number two behind door number two. Are you ready? I don't know about you, but I am ready for the outdoor trail running season. Oh man, here in Colorado, there's just nothing better than June, July, August, even September, just getting up in the mountains, hitting the trails, putting that high elevation into our lungs, and uh, yeah, recruiting those red blood cells. But it's good to have a good pair of trainers to get it done. And right now, I've got the, uh, you know, I've got the newly released Nike Wild Horse 5 and the Terra Tiger 5. I'm, inter I'm, I'm excited about both of those shoes, especially the Wild Horse, I must say. Uh, but for a daily trainer that's maybe outside of Solomon, because I love Solomon as well, I think my next trail running shoe will be the... Brooks Cascadia 14. That's right. It's coming out in June. So the Brooks cat now listen I'm not a huge Brooks guy. Uh, I have the ghost 11s You remember when I got those from the I won those at, a, at the cookie chase 5k But I'm intrigued by the Brooks Cascadia 14. It's it's so I've read it's totally uh, it's it's a new update to the 13 just kind of re revamped completely so uh, Anyway, that is my next shoe that I'm interested in it has an 8 millimeter uh, Offset or drop and it's 10.7 ounces for the men's size 9 so that's uh that's heavy, but it's not well it's approaching heavy. All right, it's a, if anything approaching 11 ounces is pretty heavy in the trail running uh, scene. So we will see, but stay tuned. If you're interested in the Brooks Cascadia 14, you're in the right place. I will be giving my thoughts on that shoe very soon. All right, and last but not least, definitely, totally a strange pick, a very strange pick, but I don't know why I'm interested in this shoe. Well, I, all right, I will tell you why. Um... As I'm preparing for future races, and I'm, I need to do interval work. Not a lot, but I know that I need to do interval work. Um, and I need to do it on a soft surface, especially after this experiencing this injury. So I have a dirt track that I have access to. You've seen me run on that dirt track. Love it. It's pretty soft, and uh, it'll be interesting to see if it gets more packed down through the summer. But I'm also very interested in doing interval work, specifically 1K repeats, um, 1,200 repeats on grass. That's right. There's some huge, big soccer fields near my house, like three, four, five soccer fields all next to each other. And you can just go around the perimeter, and it's pretty uh, even uh, grass, so it's, it's nice grass. 
and I'm thinking I want to do intervals on that grass this summer. So what I'm thinking is buying a cross country spike. That's right, a cross country spike. Uh, not a really minimal one, but one that still has a little bit of support. All right, I'll just tell you, here we go. So that's what I'm thinking about this shoe. The Ultra Vanish XC, that's right, Ultra, A-L-T-R-A, -A, the Zero Drop Company is coming out with a cross country spike. It weighs 4.9 ounces. Uh, it's 15 millimeters off the ground. It supposedly has a grippy rubber outsole. And so I know that's crazy. And obviously I've got to, I've got to heal up. I got to be really careful about taking care of the body. Make sure I'm not running on surfaces that are too hard, but stay tuned. If you're a high school cross country runner, uh, Khalid, well, maybe not collegiate cause you're probably sponsored by somebody else, but especially all the high school cross country runners out there, I will be doing a full review at some point of the Ultra Vanish XC. Does that sound good? So those are my three shoes, the New Balance Fresh Foam More, the Brooks Cascadia 14, and the Ultra Vanish XC. And so again, welcome is the keyword. Hit it up down below. Thanks for hitting the subscribe button. And especially if you joined over the last two to three days through the London Marathon coverage, I welcome you here. And the question of the day is going to be, what will be your next running shoe purchase? And yeah, what are you going to buy? Do you have something on your radar? Maybe it's the same shoe you've been running in for 20 years. Maybe it's something new. Maybe it's a racing flat, whatever it is. Let us know. Oh yeah. And maybe let us know why, if you care to. Thanks for being here. Thanks for, uh, you know, coming through this simpler vlog if you will. See beauty, work hard, and love each other. Woo. And tomorrow's going to be a big day. Come back for that. See you tomorrow.